Reading is everything for me. It opened the gate to the world to me. I don't think everybody needs to be able to do a big data analysis, but everybody needs to have a data literacy. I don't think everybody needs to be able to do a big data analysis, but everybody needs to have a data literacy. Um, it's as important as doing basic math or being able to read and write. We need to sort of understand what a correlation is, for example. Uh, that's really important on the one hand. And on the other hand, as I just mentioned, um, what is really important is that we hone our ability, our skill to imagine Cognitive experts have shown that children do it naturally, even one and two year olds, when they play doctor or play shopkeeper, they pretend play. And what they're doing is they imagine a world that doesn't exist yet. They're, they're playing with alternative realities, with counterfactuals. It's that cognitive superpower that really differentiates us from the machine. The problem is that as we grow older, we give up on that superpower. We don't imagine enough. Uh, we need to practice that skill as adults uh, even more so than we do now. And we need to instill that desire of curiosity into our kids. You don't need to be able to code or to run a big data analysis or to, to have a machine learning model uh, uh, applied to a certain situation. But, but you need a, a sense of sort of what uh, data is, how it can be analyzed and manipulated. You need a kind of critical thinking. And that's uh, what is necessary for data literacy as much as it is necessary for math. You know, I tell my son, you don't need to actually know uh, in the future uh, all trigonometric functions by heart. Um, but when you get the bill at the restaurant and you look at the total sum, um, you need to be able to estimate whether that's appropriate, whether that's right. Well, we, you know, we, we all collect a lot of data and much of it is actually not, not personal data. It's sensor data from machineries and so forth. A typical airplane engine on a transatlantic flight collects about four gigabytes of sensor data. There's lots of weather data. There is data that cars collect and so forth. All this data can be easily made accessible to others to learn from. You know, suppose car companies that have a lot of sensor data from the cars that they built and people drive around, that data could be made available to, to society, uh, then we would have a better sense of what uh, parts of the road become dangerous at what time and uh, under what conditions. And we could perhaps uh, uh, reduce the, the, the speed there or, or, or do something uh, in order to make uh, roads uh, safer and less dangerous. By reusing data that we have for different purposes, we gain novel insights and we can create new products. And, and that is where I, I think the, the idea of opening up and sharing data shines. We are not giving anything away. We still have the data and can use it ourselves, but others can use it too. That is growing the pie. Uh, scientists already know it uh, and have been doing it. Uh, academics have been doing it, um, but society at large is not doing it enough. Governments should open up the, the, the data treasures that they have uh, and make that available. Uh, large organizations should do that. Smaller companies should pool data with other smaller companies so that they have a data pool that reaches critical mass and they can really do something with it. Reading is everything for me. I'm tearing up now, I can't help it, because reading is everything for me. It opened the gate to the world to me. Whenever I was sitting in my little room when I grew up and I wanted to discover the world, I can. I, the only thing that I needed to do is to open a book.
and to read. It's that, that window into the world. Without it, I would be that stupid kid still in rural Austria. I owe everything to reading. 